so we are here today at Faithful Hyperbarics, and I'm here with Corey Tamlin, is that correct? Yeah. Tamlin, Corey is with the Fire Ants, the Faithful Fire Ants, and he's a hockey player. So tell us, Corey, what brings you to hyperbaric oxygen therapy? Well, I got hit maybe a week ago, and I was unsure on if I had a concussion. I So I continued to play, a new player came in. I got a second hit and I knew that there was something definitely wrong with my with my stability, my vision, and numerous other things. And so our coach recommended that I should come here and that it, I'd feel a huge difference and so far I feel good. Good. So you've had five treatments already. Yep. Okay. And tell us what is the difference that you've noticed? I mean. Did you have problems with headaches or talking, or what did you have after the concussion? Um, my, I did have head, headaches initially the first day I came in, mm -hmm. and uh, the day after there was a huge difference from just a simple thing from having a conversation between you and I. I wouldn't be able to stare at you the whole time. I'd have to stare, look away, and now I'm okay with that. I can, my okay. visions and my depth perception is getting a lot better. Good, okay. And so, um, how does it feel to be in the chambers? Um, it's, it's fine, you barely... Actually, the glass is so clear you can't even notice that it's right there. Cool, so. and get, catching up on your movies. I definitely am. Catching up on your movies, good. So, have you ever been in a hyperbaric chamber before? Never. Okay, have you heard about it before? Yes. Okay. And so, would you recommend it? I would definitely recommend it to anyone that's having any sort of trouble on their body. Right, okay. So you're going to come back for five more treatments because you've had this double hit back yep. to back. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go ahead and do another little video to see what happens after the 10, but you definitely are seeing some positive things here. Yeah, absolutely. Good. So you're not going to start skating, Go. Ba you're not going to go back to skating anytime soon, are you? No. Okay, you're not playing in the game. But no, you no game. Skating. I'm skating, okay. but no contact. No, Until you're just, done with everything. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever have a concussion ever before? I did when I was like when I was like 12, maybe. But other than that, there's I was never diagnosed with a concussion. I probably had one, yeah. like most people. But we. So did you? Uh, what kind of time did you have out um, of the game when it, you had those kinds of hits? Um, with. With the one when I was a lot, a lot younger, I think it was a summer hockey tournament. So after that, I was, I was You're gone. Done. I was done anyway. So You're done. Okay. And the other ones, I would just it'd be a week or or so. Yeah. So a week. And one of the things that hyperbaric oxygen therapy does is it helps you. It expedites the healing process. Mm -hmm. So it helps you get back in the game faster. Do you yeah. feel that that's true here? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. So so far so good. So far so good. All right. So you'll be with us for five more treatments, which is going to take you two and a half days because you're going to have one one day and then two on on the other days, mm -hmm. and then you'll be done. So we're excited about having you here. Yeah, me too. Thanks Thank for, you. Take care.